tonight. Doggone it. So frustrating. Hang on. I'm going to flip you around. We're going to go back to our bingo game. Maybe. There we go. Okay, hang tight. I'm going to get this set up again. Get my cord out of your face. All right, now I got to bring it up on my screen. So just hang on. Um, let's see. We're going to go like this. Get a drink, take a little break. Okay, I am on the screen. I see you guys coming in. I have to wait just a little bit. There's a lot of prizes up for grabs here. I don't wanna mess this up, right? Dang it. I hope everybody made it. How many people do we have? There's 82 watching. I don't know how many we had before it went down. Here we go. I am on my home Wi-Fi and I have jacked up internet service, Nancy. So I'm gonna have to call them because I noticed my TV's been acting really skippy and stupid too. And I'm thinking something's going on. So just bear with me, we're gonna try to get through this. Oh, good Lord. I'm not having any hot flashes though. I'm pretty, I'm cool as a cucumber. I got that fan blowing on me. But my phone is not overheating, so that is not the problem. Okay, I think we're good. We're gonna keep playing. Ready? Everybody ready? All of our numbers are here. 7, 18, 15, 14, 24, 23, 9, 12, and six. Next up, number eight. Number eight. Who has bingo? Anybody number eight? Oh, I see it just had a little skip go on the screen. Whew. Who has bingo? Anybody got bingo? Oh, we got 94 here now. Thank you guys, all of you extra people. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, tuning in. Wendy says, Kelly, my husband just came home and is over the moon laughing at the little buffering again, you guys. What is going on? Here we go. We're back up. Bear with me. I know this is frustrating, right? Here we go. Next one. Nobody's got bingo. Yeah, right? Now let's hope that we can get through this with our backup link, Nikki. Number 20, Hydrangea Hill. Beautiful, beautiful suite. Nancy, glad you're back with us or found us, I guess is a good way to put it. I'm going to stay up here and keep watching my phone. That's why I'm probably a little louder now because, like, sitting down here wasn't loud enough. <laughs> I know I've got a big mouth. My dentist told me I have actually a small mouth. And... Um, I came right home and told my husband, I do not have a big mouth. My dentist said, I have a small mouth. He didn't believe him. Because <laughs> I do have kind of a big mouth. Okay, next up, number 13. Number 13. Who has a bingo? Bingo, bingo, bingo. Wendy's going to get some tiny hands. Go on Amazon. They're super cute and fun. I love them. They're just funny. Okay, so Kimberly's telling Pam to change her settings so it's not fuzzy. <laughs> Jackie says her dentist told her that too and everyone laughed. I know, right? <laughs> same thing here, girlfriend. Same thing. Same, same. Here we go. Number five. Do we have a bingo? Come on. Bingo, 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 bingo. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you for telling Pam Hitter all those tips. I didn't know that either. We got lots of BINs, lots of BINs. I just don't want to overrun anybody who's got a bingo here by going too fast. Here we go. Ready? Maybe the dentist just has big hands. No, he didn't, Carolee. 
It was definitely my mouth. <laughs> Here we go. No, bing, bing, bing. You guys like my singing? Not so much, probably. Oh, that's too bad. Your kids had small mouths and had to have expanders. I know people have had to have that too. That's not fun. We got a B-I-N-G with D Esplana. I love saying your name, by the way, D. D Esplana. It's like movie starish. Okay, here we go. Here comes another one. Uh oh, I think it is number 25. T Perennials by Dina Rico. The last number was number five, I believe. Bingo! D has a bingo! Woohoo! Yay! D with the bingo! Yeah! 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 Okay, hang on. Connie? Are you gonna confirm that bingo? I'm see. I'm gonna see if I can find it too. Where's D at? D Esplana. D D D. Oh, you're on my second page, I think. D. Yep, there you are. Okay, number five, number twelve, number fifteen, number twenty-one, and twenty-five. We have a winner, folks. Woohoo! Way to go, D. Rock star. Oh, geez, I almost, I almost threw my glass jar off the table. D. Esplana. Movie star. Okay. Are we ready? I think. Oh, and by the way, D wins a $100 gift certificate. That's kind of important to know, right? Yeah. It's kind of important. Okay, we have um, another card. Lord help us get through this. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm going to tell you this right now. If something happens that we get kicked off again, what I am going to do is I will go live or I'll just make a video and I will, um, I don't know how we're going to play bingo. I'll draw somebody's name out of all the people that are signed up for bingo to win the last one and I'll show you the rest of the cards I'll, I'll demonstrate the rest of the cards but I don't know what else to do because I don't have another link set up and it's 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 all a whole thing so I just want to let you know that okay here we go our next card here's our packet and our next card is navy navy and um, seaside spray so here's all of our next pieces so we've got four and a quarter whoops Four and a quarter, four and a quarter by 11. I've scored this at five and a half. Your make and take packet is scored also for you because I can't fit it in the pouch without scoring it. So lucky you. <laughs> and then we have this Knight of Navy. And this piece is four by 10 and a quarter. And um, four by 10 and a quarter. And it's scored at five and a quarter. And here we go five and a quarter and seven and three quarters, okay? So you're gonna fold this and we're gonna fold this up. There we go. And it's gonna look like this. Now also getting some of the paper blooms, designer series paper, and you're gonna have the largest stitch shape circle. Did you guys know these are retiring? So, um. If you don't have the stitch shapes dies, I highly recommend you get them because they are amazing. I use them almost every card I make. I use some form of them. I'm kind of partial to circles, but there's also ovals and squares and they're just flipping amazing. Okay, so this piece is three and three quarters by, hang on, three and three quarters by five designer paper. And this piece is two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So we're gonna take this and we're going to put it right down, whoops, right down here on this panel. And this is a really neat little fun fold. It's kind of like a display card, really. Okay, now we're gonna take this, I just kind of folded it all together here, and we are going to put it on the front of our seaside spray card front, just like this. Okay, look at that. Ah, is that not cool? And then it just sits up 
like this. Is that not just the coolest? It just sits like this. It's really cool. Okay, this is our little circle that we're gonna decorate. So I need to find my Night of Maybe ink that I used on one of my other cards. That's not it, hang on. And it's not there, here it is. Night of Navy. And this time we are using the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. Yay, it is coming back in stock, you guys. The, the punch has been on back order because it was super popular. So I'm using the Happy Birthday, but you could use any sentiment you wanted out of here. And I'm going to take this and put it right here in the middle of my largest stitch shape circle, okay? Now I'm gonna come in with the floral leafy looking image with some seaside spray. And I'm just going to do a few of the flowers up here. And we're going to get a little bit bigger down here, just like that, okay? And then I am going to use one of the little flowers in here in the petal pink. Oh, and I think I forgot to put a little um, scrap of white in with your packet. So I'm sure you have a little scrap of white, right? And then, oh goodness. Oh, I know where it is. <gasps> like where did that punch go? But it's in our next card because we're using this bundle again. So this flower punches out this little stamped flower. Just super duper cute, right? And this is petal pink, by the way, if I forgot to say that. Here comes our little petal pink flower. Isn't that just precious? Now we're gonna take our Wink of Stella and we're gonna color this. Give it some bling. It's oh so subtle, but it really does shimmer in the light. And I know it's probably hard for you guys to see it. And then we're gonna take one of our pearls and I'm gonna use one of the medium sized ones and I'm gonna put it right in the middle of my cute little flower. Now, of course, you could add a bunch of other pearls wherever you want, but that's what I'm gonna do with mine. And then I need a mini dimensional. Did you guys, here they are. I was gonna say, did you see my mini dimensionals? Oops, not two, one of them is trying to hitchhike. I'll put a mini dimensional on there. Okay, thank goodness, nobody tried to call me tonight, knock on some wood, but we seem to be doing okay with this link. You know, I wish I could contact somebody at YouTube and say, what the heck? Like, what is going on? What, why does this happen? Because it's so frustrating. Here, let's close these up. Oh, um, I'm gonna leave this one open and we're gonna decorate our envelope a little bit, right? Because we already stamped in here and I'm just gonna stamp just like that and look at how pretty that is. It's just pretty, something nice and quick and easy. Okay, here comes this. We are going to take and we're gonna glue this on. So I'm gonna put some glue on like the last third of this circle. And then we're gonna put this over to the side and make sure that your words are straight. And then this paper is that Bloomin' paper, right? Or the paper blooms, I guess it's called. And it's got Rococo Rose in it, as well as white. So I thought I could use both of these twines on here. And I'm just gonna wrap them around once and make sure that you leave enough of a tail so you can tie a bow, because the bow's gonna look really pretty on here. You have to be smarter than your twine to actually get this tied up. <laughs> and I want my bow to be way over here. Okay, so get somebody to give you a finger, not the middle finger, not the naughty finger, just a finger to help you hold this so you can get it nice and tight, because we, again, can't do that tape trick on the back. Ooh, I did it, yay! I am a professional. <laughs> I always get a laugh out of that. Okay, here we go. Come here, you little bugger bugger. There it is. Now, you can put this wherever you want, but I wanted mine to be right here. So here's our pretty little card. Oh, and I know I wanted to do this on the inside too. 
with the seaside spray. We are going to stamp that right in there like that. And again, just very pretty and subtle. And what a great card. And this will stand up just like that. Like it is a display card. It's just so, so cool. So there's our next card that you're gonna get in your make and take packet. Okay, I think we're ready for bingo again, you guys. How are we doing? They do sell tiny hands with the naughty finger. Yes, they do. Yep, they do sell the naughty, naughty finger. Yep. <laughs> I am well aware of that. But of course, if to each his own, right? I'm not buying any of those. Okay. Uh, bingo. Here we go. Here goes our bingos. So I already flipped these around pretty darn good. Here comes number 11. Let's play bingo. We do not want to get cut off again. Bingo, bingo, bingo. No, Pam does not like the naughty finger ones. I don't blame you. I do not blame you. Okay, anybody got a B with number 11? Number 11. And guess what? Our next one is <gasps> floating and fluttering with the number 16. Yay! Number 16. Floating and fluttering. Not that that matters. That doesn't matter. These are just printed on um, some of the products from the Spring Mini Catalog. Next up, we got a lot of bees. Number 19, and to, for the record, this is for the $150 gift card. Now remember, if you've already won bingo, you can't win again. I hope nobody <laughs> that's won gets this because that kind of, you know, that's a little hard to swallow, right? Okay, here comes the next one. <gasps> Number 12, who has a B-I-N? Does anybody have a B-I-N-G? Let's see it. Let's see it. Then we have one card left after this, and it is a beauty. Next up, Wendy. Pick my numbers, Kelly. I'm working on it, Wendy. Number 22. Number 22. Okay. No BINs yet, huh? Okay, we're not frozen. This is good. Don't want to be frozen. Here comes the next one, number four. Number four, number four. Oh, did we freeze? I hope we're not frozen. Oh my good Lord, we are. Hang in there, you guys. The comments are still coming up. I am now buffering. I don't know why. Come on. Come on, YouTube. Don't do this to me. Oh, good. I'm not frozen. My screen is buffering. Okay, good. Whew. Thank you very much. At least I didn't say any naughty words. <laughs> Number 21. Do we have a bingo? Do we have a bingo? Bingo. I'm actually standing up dancing now. <laughs> In case anybody cared. Yeah, my screen is not working on my computer, so that's great. I'm calling my internet provider tomorrow. Maybe this problem is on my end. Ugh, lots of BINs, lots of BINs. Okay, here comes our next one. Ready, you guys? Number one. Number one, number one, number one. Okay, so my screen right here is not frozen. That's good to know. Okay, all is good, Jackie says. Okay, great, thank you. Here comes number 20, number 20. Who's got a 20? 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh my gosh, it's nine o'clock already. I'm sorry I'm keeping you guys so late. I hope you don't mind. But we have been having fun, <laughs> right? Right. All right, here we come with another one. We got no bingo yet. Ooh, thunderstorm warning. Jackie Beckwith, where do you live? 
that you have a thunderstorm warning. It kind of rained here a little bit in Wisconsin today. Number nine, do we have a bingo? Number nine, number nine, number nine. Bingo, bingo, bingo. <laughs> Kimberly loves bingo nights. I do too. They're really fun. I would almost wish we could play once a week, but that's too much. That's too much work. <laughs> like, that's a lot to keep up with. Okay. I don't see a bingo yet. Here we go. Here comes another one. Number 23, the kangaroos. Kangaroos. 85 and gorgeous in Florida, Jackie. Jackie, I'm coming to I'm coming down there again. Yeah, on Tuesday. <laughs> and I'm bringing my baby. <laughs> Listen to me, my baby. Yeah, we're bringing Val and Haley for four days. And then they have to go home because she's on spring break. They have to go home to work. And then um, Steve and I are staying a little longer. So, yay! Vacation with the baby. Okay, here comes our next one. Ready? 15. Do we have a bingo? 15. Let's have a bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Come on. California, it's 75 today. That sounds nice, too. <gasps> Joyce has a B-I-N-G. Yay. Are we going to run to golf cart? Uh, no. But you want to hear the other stupid, really stupid thing I did? Oh, we got Priscilla with a B-I-N-G. Stop by. My door is always open, Jackie Beckwith. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to look up where you live. Um, so here's a really stupid thing that I did. Number three, three B-I-N-Gs. Okay, let's see if we have a bingo. That was number three. So I rented a campsite for August because we're going to go camping with Haley, Jared, Val, and Andy, or Molly, and Steve and I. We did this last summer, and I rented it at the wrong campground. Yeah, and there's no refunds. So then I rented the campsite at the right campground and guess what now we might change the whole plan and not go camping there at all but I was thinking if we were there and somebody got on my nerves while we were at the right campground I could go over to the wrong campground if I got crabby with everybody and I could leave did you want to come in I'm on film right here and I have the tiny hands going Steve's coming in to say good night to me you guys because it's long past his bedtime so you can just wave like that they can't. They can't see you. That's not a good look. It's Hi. It really doesn't get out of there. <laughs> Bingo. No, get out. Good night. <laughs> Sleep tight. I have the daughter's car. You have Haley's car? Yeah, they're coming to get it in the morning. Oh, okay. So Haley had to get new brakes on her car tonight, so. <laughs> yeah, and the caliper was froze up. Oh, nice. Caliper was froze up. Whatever that means. <laughs> okay, next up, 17. Do we have a bingo? So what I was saying is, <laughs> if I if I like get sick of everybody, Terry has a bingo! Woohoo! <laughs> Yay, Terry! Where's my unicorn? Here we go. Good job, Terry. Connie, are you gonna confirm that for us? You confirm that she has a bingo and I'll finish my story. So while we're at the one campsite, I was thinking if I got sick of everybody, I could like leave and go to the other campsite and I would be legal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's funny. Great job, Terry. Great prize. Woohoo. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, you guys. Yay, Terry. All right, here we go. I'm going to write Terry on here. Who won our first $50? I can't remember. As soon as you say it, I will remember, but I can't remember. Connie, do we? Okay, Connie says we're good. Terry is good. She is a winner. Woohoo! Bingo, bingo, bingo. Okay. Maureen. Maureen won the first one. Thank you, Lisa. I didn't write Maureen down. Yeah, Maureen Preston. Okay, we got Maureen. 
with $50. Connie with $75. Dee Esplano with $100. And Terry with $150. Congratulations, ladies. That is awesome. Are we ready for our next card? Let's hope we can stay, right? Now, if something happens that we get cut off at this point, I'm not going to come back on, but I do have a PDF file that has all the directions in it. So you don't have to worry about that for those of you that um, are registered for bingo. Oh, let me get all this out of the way. So here we go. Here's our final card. Here's our little thing we do. This is it. Our bag is empty now, right? I did good. I like to do it this way so I can check and make sure I've got all the pieces for you guys. Okay, Poppy Parade, such a popular color for strawberries. You would think that you would always use red, but this is really, really vibrant and pretty. So we've got eight and a half by five and a half, and I fold it in half, then we've got four by five and a quarter. Same on the basic white, and then we've got a piece that has run through the subtle embossing folder, and you guys, this is retiring also. So if you don't have this, you get on that store and get it because you're gonna never regret it. Okay, this piece is three and three quarters by one and three quarters. And what we're gonna do here first is we're gonna take our Poppy Parade. I think I gotta find that strawberry punch too. Like, what did I, did I read that out here? I must have. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna take our Poppy Parade. I'm gonna sit down now. <laughs> I was standing up so I wouldn't like lose your guys. Like that's gonna help, right? At least I would know what was happening. Poppy Parade ink with this cutie patootie little flower. And you can see, tone on tone, very, very cute. This is gonna make it, you know, kind of subtle, but it's gonna give it some background. And I love using that technique. When you just need, you just don't want it to be just plain, right? So this works really good. Okay, so here's our strawberries. And we're gonna take, I mean our strawberries, <laughs> our flowers. And we are going to, my screen is still buffering, so I think I can still see your guys' comments are still coming in, even though my screen on my laptop isn't working. Now we're gonna take and leave a long tail so we can tie a bow. Uh, oh, we're actually gonna do this with two pieces of baker's twine. So I just wrapped that around there to figure out how much I needed. And now I'm going to do this. And Kathy Miller actually designed this card also. Isn't she amazing? I know. My team members are all amazing. It just so happens that Kathy lives close to me and she is a full-time Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So she you know, adjusts her schedule to come over and help me. But all of my team members are very, very talented. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to do this without doing that knot, but if I have to do the knot, I can, or if I can't, then I can do the tape thing in the back. Oh, look, that got kind of tight there. Oh, that worked. Because um, you're not gonna see the back of this, so we could do that, tighten it with the tape thing again, you know what I mean? One thing about Baker's Twine is I always like to kind of keep it from getting all swirled up because that makes me a little crazy. Okay, we're going to put this on the front of our card. So one thing about this whole YouTube and freezing up and trying to kick me off and whatever, I know that Barb, my friend Barb, she has been experiencing the same problem with YouTube. So I don't know that it's, you know, she's having problems with her internet, I'm having problems with my internet. I don't think that's the case. I think YouTube is having some issues and I think they're just trying to kill us. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Feels that way though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna take some dimensionals on this embossed layer and that really does add a lot to this to emboss it. And we're going to give this quite a bit of support. This is a, you know, it's a substantial layer that we're going to pop up. Who else has started using their Take Your Pick tool to remove those dimensional backings? Like, my friend Ashley Pfeiffer from Canada taught me this, and I think it is just flipping genius. Okay, so get your little um, ends out of the way. And we're going to take this, and we're going to put it... Make sure you get it straight. That looks great. 
Ooh, I see I have a bunch of ink on my edges here. I'm going to clean that off. That'll make me crazy. Okay, now you're going to get a two and a quarter inch granny apple green circle. And we're going to use our granny apple green ink. And we're going to stamp this. This is, that was so sweet of you right on the bottom there. And we are going to take this and add it to our white layer, like right here. So I'm just centering it on the white layer. And now we have a scrap for our strawberries. These strawberries are so, so, so pretty. I like to do my outline first. Okay, so, oh, and you have to look at, let's look at our punch to see which way we need to stamp these. So we need to stamp our strawberries actually upside down so they'll fit into our punch. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I hope I can do that without messing up the other one. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, you got you to gotta be mindful of that, right? And now here comes our solid part. Now, I don't know if I want to stamp this off once before I do this. Nope. The stamp does it for you. You do not need to lighten that color at all. Look at how like variegated the color is. Like there's highlights on that strawberry. So pretty. This is just such a pretty bundle, right? There we go. Now let's punch these out. So I'm going to get this centered just like that. This is a lot to punch out. There's four different images on here. So you may have to set this down on the table and push on it if you don't have a lot of strength in your hands. And where that other strawberry? Here it is. We also need <laughs> enough white. Hang on, i got to grab that scrap. Where did that little scrap go that I was using? All right. We gotta have enough white to do the little stems. So I'm just gonna bring in another little scrap here. And here's our stemmy thing. So again, I like to do my outline first and I'm gonna look and see. Okay, so I'm gonna do these like this so that they will fit in my punch. And then there is the um, filler, okay? And also, you do not need to stamp that off once because Stampin' Up's cool way of making the stamp has done that for you. It makes it lighter, so that's cool. Right, let me get these out of here. Now we're going to punch this. Oops, we got to... Oh, dang it! I did it the wrong way, you guys. So just hang tight. Remember that little post-it note trick that I did? We're going to have to do it again because I didn't pay good enough attention. Okay, so this is going to go in there like that. So I'm just going to put my little post-it note down here so I can hold on to this. Isn't that... I, I did not think of that, but I saw somebody else doing it and I thought it was pretty genius, right? I don't think I got that lined up the greatest. Oh my lord, that's terrible. Okay, hang on. I'm not taking any chances this time. So, if I stamp this again, okay, I'm going to stamp it right down here. And it needs to be upside down. Like that. And like that. That should be far enough apart. These are just scraps. It'll be fine, right? I stamped my other ones better. Oh, good lord. <laughs> you have to be smarter than your stamp or your punch. There we go. And there we go. Okay, now, for those of you that ordered the packets, you will get them. They're going out in the mail tomorrow. Okay, so here's our little greeny things. Yay! And we're going to put those right on top of our 
missing strawberries. Here they are. I'm just going to add a little glue to them to do that. Yeah, so there's one more thing that's going to get out of my house this week. A lot has gone out. The welcoming window packets just went out this morning because I was waiting on back orders. The linen thread was on back order. That came in this morning, so those are gone. And now the bingo packets are going out. Yeah, I'm so excited. So you guys watch for those. And on Monday of next week, the retreat packets will be ready to roll because they are pretty much almost completely packed. We just have a few things to add to them. Like we have to figure out all the celebration items that everybody ordered. If they ordered before the 26th, they got to choose the celebration item. Well, actually they got to choose two. <laughs> so, I'm gonna slightly offset these so they're not look like they're just kissing cousins there, right? And then, Where's my inside piece? Right here. So you can do whatever you want on the inside, but I decided what I wanted to do was a little strawberry, a little strawberry, and then we need the little green thing on the top. So I'm just going to stamp this just like that. And I think I'll try and do the second part and see how that looks. You could also punch it out and do it. That might work a little bit better. Oh, that looks fine. That's gonna be our inside of our card. Make sure you don't have any ink on your fingers when you're doing this. This is when I ruin things, right? It's the last step. That's when I tend to smear ink all over. And then you have an envelope. You can put a couple strawberries on there too. I'm not gonna do that right now because I think I've kept you guys long enough. Whew, it's still running. Yay! This is awesome. Yeah, isn't this just super duper cute? Just the cutest card. And again, that was designed by Kathy Miller. Here's our other card. This is the display card that stands up so nicely. Now, you guys can go back and watch this video. It is open to the public. I will be posting a link to it on my blog. Um, you can go back and watch it and make these cards if you want. All of the information for them are going to be in the video. I am not going to type this up again. When I put it on my blog, I'm not going to put the dimensions on there. I just want you to know that because it's all very time-consuming. And um, it's kind of a benefit of ordering and playing with us. So when you order the, the card kit, you get all the goodies with it. Yay. Aren't these pretty? I love them. I love them. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm just so happy that you stuck with me. I'm sorry about the technical problems, but what are you going to do? I will um, try and figure some things out before we, before we do this again. Hopefully things are going to be working better, whether it's on my end or whether it's on YouTube's end, right? All right, you guys, have yourselves a great night. For those of you that won bingo tonight, you have, what did I say? I don't remember what I said. You have, I don't know, three days to let me know what you want. And um, I will get that ordered and on its way to you. Bingo packets out in the mail tomorrow. You're going to see um, postage. Your shipping labels are going to be made when we're done here. I'm going to start working on those. So you'll have tracking information for them. Thanks so much for playing bingo. If you didn't get to play tonight, I hope that you will join us next month. Watch for April 11th. I'm going to be opening up, opening up registration for bingo. Have a great one, you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.